The captivatingly wistful opening of Robert Schumann's great song cycle, Dichterliebe, Poets, Life and Love. Schumann, in a nutshell, as he found his true voice the year he married his sweetheart, Clara Wieck, in 1840. It was a new voice, a quizzical, questioning voice. Who but Schumann would have thought of writing a piece called simply, Why? It was a voice that hesitated between words and music. Schumann's father was a publisher, and young Robert wrote stories, poems and plays. All his life he remained a literary man, an editor and a critic. So reading a romantic novel might result in a piano suite. While a poem needn't confine itself to becoming a song, it could inspire a symphony. The motto theme that begins the first symphony... <laughs> perfectly fits the poetic line that inspired it. Im Tale blüht der Frühling auf. Spring is blossoming in the valleys. Schumann's literary imagination peopled his music with characters, many of them simply Schumann himself in disguise. He could be Eusebius, That's Eusebius beginning with an E. Or he could be Floristan. Or he could be David, forever fighting the Philistines. And if you notice that Clara, his wife, David, Eusebius with an E and Floristan form an alphabetical sequence, you're starting to get some idea of how Schumann's mind worked. Schumann met his piano teacher's daughter when she was only 10 years old, and her father spent the next 11 years fighting tooth and nail to keep them apart. The marriage set Schumann free to follow his star. Clara was one of the greatest piano virtuosos of the time, and she encouraged Robert to investigate the more serious orchestral genres, pieces like the piano concerto. Schumann's opera Genoveva reminds us that he was a contemporary of Wagner. Indeed, the two became friends. This theme from the overture certainly breathes the same air as Wagner's early operas. being married to a famous concert pianist. Schumann hated playing second fiddle to Clara on her concert tours, and he began to suffer breakdowns. The alphabetical facets of his personality were splitting apart. His family had a history of mental instability, and all his life he feared insanity. Clara and Robert moved to new cities in search of a new start, to Dresden and to Dusseldorf, rather reluctantly because Schumann knew that that city had an asylum and he thought it would be a bad omen. He began to hear angels singing him beautiful music, which he wrote down, and then the angels turned into demons and he threw himself off a bridge into the Rhine. Two years later, in 1856, he died in a private asylum. He was 46 years old. 
Clara had not been allowed to visit him. For the rest of her long life, she could only dream 